Prime Minister for a matter of weeks, but none of the people who briefly made up Liz Truss's cabinet feature in her resignation honours list. Chancellor, what are you going to do about the turmoil on the markets this morning, sir? Nothing for one-time ally and former Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng, or for her Deputy Prime Minister and Health Secretary Therese Coffey. Those that did make the list of 11 names include Matthew Elliott, a political strategist and former chief executive of Vote Leave. He's given a peerage. Businessman John Moynihan, another Brexit supporter and Tory donor, will also enter the Lords. While Ruth Porter, a senior official to Liz Truss in Number 10, is made a baroness. Tory MPs Alex Shelbrook and Jackie Doyle-Price are given a knighthood and damehood, with honours also for five other political allies. In a statement issued alongside her list, Liz Truss said... I'm delighted these champions for the conservative causes of freedom, limited government and a proud and sovereign Britain have been suitably honoured. But allies of the former Prime Minister have questioned why it's taken until Christmas for the list to be published, given it was first submitted in March. As we head into a likely election year, Downing Street will be wary of anything that ties the current Prime Minister to Liz Truss's chaotic six weeks in office. Her resignation honours list risks doing that, and that's why it's no surprise that Number 10 has chosen to publish it alongside the regular New Year's gongs and while MPs are on their Christmas break and not here in Westminster. Labour says the honours should have been vetoed because of the economic turmoil that took place under Liz Truss. These are rewards for failure. If Rishi Sunak had anything about him, if he was really a strong leader, he would block it. But, of course, he's too weak to do that. And I think people across the country will be staggered that Liz Truss has been allowed to uh, give these people uh, baubles and honours for failure. Rishi Sunak back home watching his football team while a government source accused Labour of hypocrisy, saying it was convention for Prime Ministers not to block the political peerages of others. As Westminster prepares for the New Year celebrations and attention turns to who'll be on top after the next election, evidence again that the political past can often be dragged into the present. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.